everybody, it's Simmers Talk, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, we're gonna be doing a townhouse duplex speed build. And technically, it's a speed build for you guys, but it took me around an hour to complete this all. I would say this has been by far one of my favorite townhouses I've built, only because I love the colors, I love the landscaping. I think they just fit together. They have enough room for each, you know, family or whatever. And altogether, I really had fun with this build alongside learning new ways to like put townhouses together and build a townhouse to begin with. Now, although I did gather inspiration from Pinterest off of a real home, I actually built this by myself, like with my own mind. And if you guys hear any crackling noise in the background, that's my puppy chewing on his chew toy. I recently got a puppy like a month or two ago and he is a handful. <laughs> But he's my favorite and he knows it and I love him dearly, but that's what that noise is. Anyways, when it comes to this townhouse, I feel like the most difficult part I had with making it would be the roofing pieces because, I don't know, it was very hard to find roofs that like fit together and like matched well and trying to get the sizes and the curves to all align and look good, you know, but without making them look together together kind of keeping them separate as is you know what i mean another part i feel like this build lacked is a backyard space only because the lot was only so big and i wanted to show some of the front yard if i got rid of the front yard it just it just wouldn't have looked good you know what i mean so yeah you can definitely put this on a bigger lot add a bigger backyard but for this build it was a very tiny backyard i couldn't fence anything in so i just left it as is now one of my favorite parts of this build is definitely the colors i used on it and like the the windows i feel like the windows and like the bump outs they all looked good and they all worked out well for me in the end i also totally forgot to add cars in the driveway which you can totally do if you go through the debug menu which is completely base game that's something else this build completely lacks and i'll probably add it to the thumbnail but other than that i feel like this was a really good build i like the way i place the dirt down i like the way it like accentuates the features of the house and the landscaping and all of that and as far as the floor plan goes there is three bedrooms in one house and then there is two bedrooms in the other house but both houses have two bathrooms each one upstairs and one downstairs um you can also make that room downstairs into another bedroom, so technically each of the houses could have three bedrooms each, but I tend to make a separate room downstairs for like an office or something like of that nature, you know what I mean? Now, of course, like students, like children, like anything, we all have to have a favorite, and if I had to choose my favorite um, house out of the two, it would definitely be the green one only because of the green I don't know that sage color really speaks to me and I also like the dark wood scheme inside more than I like the, the light wood and I gave two different floorings um to the houses to like differentiate them so you can tell which one's which but you can obviously make them anything you want these houses are move-in ready so if your sims wanted to move in they can definitely do that move-in ready houses mean that the houses are ready to move in and they don't have any furniture so as far as i know you guys can correct me on that if i'm wrong but that's how I kind of left the house as far as any of my other houses on my gallery. But I also have furnished versions of certain houses on my gallery as well. So it's not like I don't furnish. So if you guys want to see me furnish this build, I would be glad to furnish it. And you just have to let me know in the comments below. I wouldn't say furnishing is my number one skill, but I'm also not horrible at it, you know? I know how to pair up some colors and schemes and all of that and make it look good, um, I feel like, to my nature. Because I feel like we all have different opinions as to what we like in The Sims, and that's why I like The Sims so much, because we can all put our own little twist on it, add our own little mods or do whatever to our gameplays or our towns. We can all customize it to our likings, and that's what I love about The Sims 4. I feel like this house or this townhouse complex would be perfect on a 40 by 30 lot only so you can add that 
backyard space and that fencing area and all of that and give the families or whatever sims room to actually do stuff in the backyard but i built this on a the 30 by 20 lot in san sequoia i forget what it's called but i did put it in the little description thingy of the build on my gallery but it's the one next to the water and the movie theater and i know like this gets a lot of hate but i think i really do like san sequoia the town itself only because i feel like there is much more things to do around there than there is like willow creek or oasis springs or newcrest and i know you guys will probably or some of you guys probably will disagree with me but besides like the fishing spots and everything there's a whole like splash zone there's also areas where you can like walk and jog and all of that as a family or as a couple and they also introduced the movie theater rabbit hole which is something we had in the sims 3 which i i adore i love that and although the movie theater isn't a woohoo spot like it was in The Sims 3, I still feel like this adds a good feature to that town and to the game in general. I also felt like this was like a perfect build for this town even though it is base game and doesn't require to be in this town. I should also mention that there is a 30 by 20 lot like this in the um, Willow Creek. I just felt like this build suited San Sequoia more and looked better. But if you guys liked and enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and comment um, because it super helps me out and I super appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown me and are still showing me to this day and I, it, it blows my mind really. So yeah, make sure to leave a like and comment and let me know what townhouse out of these two was your favorite. You know what I mean? Which one would you live in if you had to choose one? And yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys next time and I hope you guys have a wonderful day.